Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the CEO of Gold Cloud Careers and I'd like to share some key information with you. You can get a great cloud architect job with no experience and we've got an incredible list of testimonials to prove it. You can also get hired in any economy when you have the right skills and the right preparation. However, so many people struggle after spending thousands of dollars and six months or a year or even two years of training in their boot camp. So why do most boot camps fail? Most boot camps teach the wrong skills when it comes to the AWS solution architect role or the cloud architect role. Most boot camps teach things like cloud administration, cloud engineering, and DevOps engineering. And it's so important for you to understand that architecture is not engineering and engineering training does nothing to teach you architecture. And the role of the cloud architect and the cloud engineer or the role of the AWS solutions architect versus the DevOps engineer are so different. It's no different than learning how to fix an airplane engine versus learning how to fly an airplane. So what's wrong with most cloud architect or AWS solutions architect boot camps? It's the things that they're teaching. Most cloud architect boot camps or AWS solution architect boot camps teach things like Python or Linux, for example, or teaching Terraform or a lot of hands-on configuration. And here's the sad reality. The cloud architect or the solutions architect does none of this in their actual job. The cloud architect does not code. The cloud architect does not configure. The cloud architect does not implement. In fact, most cloud architects or even the AWS solutions architects or the Azure solution architects are not even allowed to touch their client's technology. That's right, we're not even allowed to touch our client's technology. So what happens is these boot camps, they create a skills mismatch. It's no different than if you applied to a school to learn how to be an airplane mechanic and you got really good at fixing airplane engines and then you applied for a job as a nurse. You'd have skills, good skills, but they would be the wrong skills. See, architecture is about designing a solution to improve a customer's business performance, not about building the technology. And if the boot camp does not include significant business training, it will fail. And here's why it will fail. How can a cloud architect improve a customer's business performance if they don't know business. Another concern is that cloud engineering is hands-on and practical, while cloud architecture is 100% theoretical. When it comes to designing an architecture, we have to think about things like this. How will a route placed on a virtual router in Japan affect the voice systems in the US, a website that's hosted in the UK, or a supply chain application that's hosted in China? How will a worm on a PC in Brazil affect users in other parts of the globe? How will a new application that a business adopts affect the workflow of the sales teams or the marketing teams? That's what architects do. Architects also need to plan the technology around the business. So what happens when the technology fails? Does the business still operate? Another key component of the architecture world. So while engineering is about learning how to write code, or setting up an object storage bucket or a Kubernetes clusters, architecture is focused on why the technology does what it does or how to put the technology pieces and parts together to maximize business performance. And therefore, cloud architecture and cloud engineering need completely different tech backgrounds. Now, a lot of what cloud architects do is migrate things from the network and the data center to the cloud. Now, in order to migrate the technology from the data center to the cloud, the cloud architect or the AWS solutions architect needs deep understanding of the legacy technology. And that's why when we train cloud architects, we spend so much time teaching legacy technology to our clients. Now, if the cloud architect or AWS solutions architect only learned AWS, they wouldn't know about the old technology that they're migrating to AWS. And again, they will fail to get hired. Now, one might think you can just learn the new stuff, but you can't. Now, although as cloud architects, we don't touch the technology, one thing we do a lot of is we give a lot of presentations to both technology professionals as well as executives. As architects, we must be able to deliver presentation to the CEO, the CIO, the CFO, and we need to be able to convince a company to spend millions or billions of dollars of technology, which means we must be able to deliver a specialty presentation to the C-suite. That's why we teach presentation skills and a concept called CXO relevancy, or how to connect to the C-level executives in a meaningful way. And if your cloud architect training does not include this, you just won't be hired. In fact, the last interview for a cloud architect or an AWS solution architect interview is typically a presentation. Most cloud architect boot camps don't teach presentation skills, and that's why they fail. Now, we spend a tremendous amount of time on this training. As it's realistically speaking, presentations are about 30% of the job for the average cloud architect or AWS solutions architect. 
The last reason most cloud architect boot camps fail is they don't address the leadership component. They're focused on the technology. But a large percentage of what a cloud architect does is manage stakeholders, manage customer expectations, manage a team of architects to design a solution for the client, managing a customer who is upset because they previously had a bad experience. So to be really good as a cloud architect or an AWS solutions architect, you need leadership training. Again, that's another reason most boot camps fail because they're so focused on implementing the tech, which is not even the architect's job anyway, they don't have the time to discuss the leadership skills, which are so critical for the job. And that's why we succeed in getting people hired as a cloud architect or a solution architect almost every day. So not everyone can teach someone how to become a cloud architect. That's why we have C-level executives on our team working with our clients, a CEO, a COO, and a CMO. We also have PhD business school professors teaching our clients business acumen. We also have tech leaders coming in to teach our students, whether they be a VP at a global tech company, a working enterprise architect, a working AWS solution architect, an application architect, a network architect, a security architect, and even enterprise architects. Remember, you can get any tech job you want, regardless of your experience, if you're great at what you do, specifically the job for which you're applying. To get a complete list of the correct cloud architect skills and learn to be hired, please download the free guide and attend the free webinar. The link is in the description below of this video. Also, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to be informed of new videos to help you build an elite cloud architect career. This is Michael Gibbs and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care.